I'm, I wanted to at least take down a few of them. His business now boarded up, and Bagley is fed up with the break-ins and elected officials. I voted for Karen Bass, I voted for Biden, I voted for Gavin Newsom. I'm sick of it. It's like at some point you have to give me a reason to vote for you again. Or just do our jobs, make a living, help our employees make a good living, and move on. But it's really freaking difficult to survive. Listen! This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Make sure you go to the link in the description section. Get you one of these shirts today. We got the Don Santa. We have uh, Trump on a chump, uh, which is which is going crazy on the store. We got a whole bunch of other Christmas stuff. So go on and get you some presents now that you can have before Christmas so you can wrap them and put them together. And we ship our stuff out within 24 hours. So you'll get your stuff almost immediately. And you can also pay for overnight shipping, two-day shipping, and you can or you can just pay for the three- to five-day uh, business day shipping, which is standard. Uh, so anyway, you got your choices. Best merch in the game, over 100,000 customers, and over 12,000 five-star reviews. So you ain't got to look no further. We got you covered at Tatum Store. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Democrats are losing support at breakneck speed. Brandon Tatum, why are they losing support at breakneck speed? It's because their policies are catching up to them. When you go defund the police, defund the police because you think you can get control of the populace of idiots and also the black community so they can keep voting for you in perpetuity. But then the reality of the fallout of what your choices are dictates violence and confusion and chaos and destruction of businesses and people are sick of it. I want y'all to hear this story because this is one of the most egregious things that I've ever seen uh, outside of somebody getting, you know, unalived. But this is absolutely egregious. And it's crazy that people have to go through this in California. It, it, this, is a, this, is a, this is a routine occurrence for businesses. This is not a one-off. This is not a every now and again. We've seen the looting and, and we've seen uh, the smashing grabs. And now these people have literally broke into this man's building. And you know they ain't going to do nothing about it. You know they're not going to go to jail. Wrote a clip. Caught on camera at a local construction company in L.A.'s Glassell Park. Several thieves are involved. And tonight that owner tells us he's frustrated. This whole strip has been broken to. Our neighbors have broken to four times. These guys just got broken to two months ago. What are we supposed to do? We're a small construction company. Ryan Bagley, the latest victim on this Glassell Park street to get burglarized by several thieves. So many, it's hard to count. As you watch them file into and out of Bagley's business, Delta Construction and Electric. They smashed into our gate over there, smashed their gate into here. 15 dudes come pouring in. Delta security cameras capturing the destructive mayhem about 5 a.m. Wednesday morning. The getaway car, this blue Kia Soul, Bagley says, was stolen from LAPD's impound yard. The cops just knew that it was from the LAPD impound because of the chalk mark on the window. That Kia Soul taking out a gate. Now, how you steal a car from the LAPD impound? Either he's exaggerating that because he got bad information or the world is coming to an end. How do you steal a car from the police impound and then use that car to do a robbery a burglary? I guess you can call it because they didn't use force against a person to use a burglary, break into somebody's place. The only other alternative is that somebody had the car and it got impounded by police. They got their car out of the impound and they just didn't wipe the, the chalk off the front of the car. I'm hoping that that's the case and not that somebody literally stole, had access to steal a freaking impounded car from the police lot and then committed a crime with it. That's out of control. So the hooded suspects could make entry. Hi, you are currently being recorded. Inside, they took they don't care. whatever they could carry, including music equipment. Bagley and his brother, former band members, stored inside. You can hear the alarm and spot a guitar. Stole six of our guitars, a bunch of studio mics and stuff like that. Rustled some stuff out, some some uh, construction in our construction side. They stole a bunch of tools. Thousands of dollars worth of valuables, demolished doors and gates. Bagley says the alarm company woke him at 5.03 a.m. when the break-in was still... Are they black? Okay. ...underway, and he managed to get there even before cops. But the suspects were gone. I came in ready to rustle them out of there and just be like... 
you know, I'm, I wanted to at least take down a few of them. His business now boarded up and Bagley is fed up with the break-ins and elected officials. I voted for Karen Bass, I voted for Biden, I voted for Gavin Newsom, I'm sick of it. It's like at some point you have to give me a reason to vote for you again. Or just do our jobs, make a living, help our employees make a good living and move on. But it's really freaking difficult to survive. Exactly. Exactly. Who can survive in a city run by Democrats? They are evil. They're ignorant. They're calculated. They hate America. They hate the constitutional republic we live in. They hate law and order. They want chaos and mayhem. They want to divide us so they can divide and conquer. They only care about power and not the people. There's no way in the world y'all should be slapping people on the wrist. Now that you see the results of slapping people on the wrist, you may need to change it up, but steady, they steady doubling down. Black and brown bodies and people, whatever, whoever is breaking in here, could have been white guys. They just need opportunities. No, they need consequences. They need to go to jail when they break in somebody's spot and, and steal tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And if there's no consequences and there's a slap on the wrist and you got to get caught with a thousand dollars worth of somebody else's property for you to even get in trouble, if you don't rectify that, you don't challenge that it's just going to get out of control because why wouldn't you go steal tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff and sell it at a hundred percent profit why don't you do that who's stopping you what's stopping you easy money no taxes this is what liberalism do to a community a city a state and it only gets worse it does not get better they will never see a change until they change the people in power and i hope that they start voting differently all right, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.